Vanessa, Positive Parenting, Parenting Tools and Strategies. Today I'm going to talk to you about your child interrupting. Does your child interrupt you? This is incredibly common. Probably every child does it. So the first thing is, don't worry about it. We can fix this. It might be really tempting to let your child interrupt. You may have tried it even and then they forgot what they were going to say and then they got frustrated and then you think well it's easier just to let them. Why do they interrupt? You've got to consider the age of your child. Also because they're bored. They may not realize it's bad to interrupt or they may not yet have the tools and strategies to hold themselves back and they just feel that they're really important. The world is all about them. And of course, as already mentioned, they have a short term memory that's very short and they are very likely to forget. Why would we want to teach them not to interrupt? Well, it is an accepted social norm, so it makes us more polite and in turn that will make us have more friends. So if you're wanting your child to integrate into society, it's really good to teach them social norms. Especially in this day and age, parents are very concerned about social interaction because of the high social media computer usage. There's a separate video on that, but when you've got that in mind, it's all the more important that you're teaching your children these things. So social interaction, how to converse, how to move into a conversation without interrupting are all really, really good lifelong skills. So it's really advantageous to teach your child these skills and you may as well start young. The younger they are, the easier it is. So consider the age of your child. Obviously they're going to start off and they're just going to talk when they want to talk. It's just impulsive. By the age of three to five, you can be feeding this in and getting them to learn to wait, but don't make them wait too long. You've got to do it in small steps and build it up, but we'll come on to that in a minute. By the age of seven, you would be aiming to teach, to have taught them to wait and not to interrupt. So the tips are to consider the age and stage of your child. So consider your expectation. You'll start small and then build it up. So don't keep them waiting too long at first. We want to have some wins under our belt so that you can praise them. And a big thing is planning and preparation. So firstly, you have to explain to your child that interrupting isn't good. And do this before you go into a situation so you're both calm. When you know that you're about to have a one-on-one -on -one or conversation with other adults or go on the phone or you're going to go to someone's house, talk to your child first. Give them a few guidelines. As mentioned before, they might get bored, so help them to win this by not being bored and give them something to do. When you see good behaviour, praise that good behaviour. Afterwards, review the, um, the time where they didn't interrupt and tell them how well they did and how proud of them you are. Your child will want quality time, so make sure that outside of uh, the times when you're talking to someone and they mustn't interrupt, Make sure you're giving them quality time. Remember that you are a role model for your child. They're really copying you a lot at this stage. This is how they're learning. So you'll need to model some good um, not interrupting when your child is talking. You let them talk. And if you do need to stop them, do it in a polite way. One tip you can use when you're um, not wanting your child to interrupt is to acknowledge that they want to talk to you with an eye movement or a touching them so that they know that you, you know, but then making them wait. So just to summarize, perfectly normal for children to interrupt. It's generally where they all start, but we're the parents and caregivers and it's our role to teach them social norms so that they can smoothly fit into society so it's our role to teach them not to interrupt. And we can do this by building it up, by planning ahead, and a few simple skills like that so that we can teach them the strategies of learning to wait. 
Have a good week.